2019, we had a program in Tamale. And the program we were having in Tamale, I was supposed to be ministering. And I was at Gethsemane. There is a place called Gethsemane. It is a prayer environment where we go and pray. So I was staying there. And they normally come and pick me with a car in the evening. When we are done with the program, they send me back to that place. So one of the evenings, between the hours of 5 to 6 p.m., I have finished my evening prayers and I was just lying down meditating. Watch this. This demon appeared from nowhere. The angel of death. I saw him. He appeared in the room. And when he appeared in the room, he, he was taking my soul away. I could see my body lying down. I could see him taking my soul away. I could see him. But I was powerless. I was like, I, I couldn't even pray. I knew this was death. Like, Look, there's nobody who died without knowing that he's dying. I'm telling you the truth. If you have the opportunity to ask people who have passed away, how did it happen? They will tell you and they will explain to you that I saw it happening and I saw myself dying. They will tell you everything. I saw myself dying and I knew that I was dying. I just knew that I was dying. I was powerless against him. Meanwhile, I was over there for days fasting and praying. So imagine I was not fasting and praying. Just imagine that. And yet I was powerless. And whilst that was going on, I was lying down trying to restore my soul to my body. The people that came to pick me was outside. They knock at the door and stop. They never open again. And I wish that they enter and interrupted that process. Because I knew that if they enter, they were going to interrupt him. They were not entering. I wanted them to enter. They were not entering. So they were outside. Probably they thought that I was in the realm of the spirit, but I was dying. All of a sudden, my first encounter with angel Rezoel, all of a sudden, he appeared in the building, the room. And when he appeared in the room, the angel of death disappeared. And my soul jumped back to me at once. And my spirit returned immediately. Now, this was how I was delivered from death. And that was my first encounter with this angel. He just appeared. It was not Michael. It was him who appeared. It was not Michael. Anytime you see Michael appearing, Lucifer is there. Yeah. When you read your Bible, anytime you see Michael appearing, which means Lucifer was the one manifesting there. In heaven, Michael was the one who drove him out. In the book of Jude, over the contention of the body of Moses, Michael was the one who came against him. Now, the prince of Persia, his Daniel and the prince of Persia withstood him. It would take an archangel to withstand an archangel. They were there together before they rebelled. Only God knew for how long. Whenever you see Michael appear in an environment, which means Lucifer have direct contact in that environment. There's a manifestation of the devil himself in that environment. And the Bible said several things about this archangel Michael. But in my case, it was angel Rezoel that appeared to me. And that angel of death clear. It clear like the way when the clouds gather to rain and the sun appear and they clear and I could see myself, I could feel myself. That day I went to a minister. People did not even know that I nearly died. That was a near, a near death experience. Another encounter with Angel Rezoel was another place like that. It was not hidden. No. I saw a man walking to me and as the man was walking to me, I thought actually that man was any ordinary man. But all of a sudden I saw that the angel of the Lord also appeared from where I was and the man disappeared. I said, ah, what happened here? Because the man was coming physically I saw him like a physical person, not knowing that was another angel, strange angel of death. They can strangulate your soul out of you without your knowledge. The angels working with death, they know how to take your soul just from you. Phew! And there's nobody who died without knowing that I am dying. Do you know that whenever somebody have an accident and the person died, the person knows that it's over, I'm dead. Even when an individual have an accident, you can see the person watching over the body. The body of the individual is helpless and he knows that I have died. There's nobody who died without knowing that I have died. There's no, not one person because you know that you've died. You know, how many of you have watched these movies where people will die and they are still trying to talk to people and they are not hearing them? They are movies. It's not real. When you die, you know you die. How many of you in your dream died and you knew that you died in your dream? Only to discover that it was a dream. <laughs> Thank God it was a dream. Amen. Because <laughs> it, 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 it cannot be true. Amen. It cannot be true. It cannot be true. It cannot be true.